Mm. Oh. I just finished eating. So, like, my stomach is revolting. So we'll tell us how some carbonated stuff. I, that's fine. That'll make it better. Anyway, hello. Happy Tuesday. Oh, or whatever day you're watching. If it is Tuesday, that was right. So, um, I need to finish this. When we started, was it Friday? Um, should be able to though, because I actually did work on it like Sunday. I just felt like working on something and got a bunch of it done. I think it's going to make background and a couple minor adjustments. Depending on time or what, if, if I get this done or whatnot, I might end a little early because I have to do a lot of stuff tonight before um, going to BernieCon tomorrow. I can name that time I forgot to open up SFM before. Ugh. It's something that there is no stream Friday or next Tuesday because of travel and all that and con. But if you're at the con, I'm not doing anything Friday. Friday's an empty day, so. But Saturday, Saturday's gonna have a lot of stuff. I did post some stuff on Twitter about that. Some little preview stuffs. Anyway, so we got... Rathalo's still stuck in his tire, so I did animate this a bit. In the off time. Um, Can anyone hear me? I got my ass stuck in here. So it's got to refine it a little bit. So uh, I spent a lot of time just trying to make the wings work. Anyone hear me? The clipping got weird, and I'm just gonna leave it how it is now, though. Some of these I got my ass are weird. stuck in here. But I feel like you're gonna watch him anyway. Um, oh yeah, I gotta fix that. <laughs> Hello. Uh, mm -hmm. No, it's not under unknown. I forgot what these were under. Uh, I don't know, because this is going to move it for sure. But there's just something that's causing like a that there. It looks like to be a left wing. I guess it's one of these. Yep. Actually, I think I know what it is. No, it's not not that. There's some bone I decided to. Uh, just way the hell out there. Yeah, because even this isn't actually adjusting it, which means it's something else. Um, oh, I can't remember because I did that. Um, I think it might be under this. Yeah, I think it's one of these ones. No, maybe not. Hmm. Mystery. Ah! No, here they are. I think it's this one. Oh, what did I do? Oh, no, there it is. It's right here. Alright. All right, I'll add for just a little bone. Okay. Uh, 
but there was something I needed to do. Oh, so I technically I'm keeping it where his head is visible hey! here. Can anyone hear it? So I need to actually lip sync that part. Can anyone hear? So I only needed to go to can anyone hear? one uh from the angle i probably don't need to worry about it too much so Settle with it. Oh, I go. Oh, not lips up. Teeth out. Can so a little bit of stretch and a little bit of uh, opening up here. Just, this is the first time he's actually spoke fast. He's been easy because he talks slow. stretch teeth out again uh, we're gonna bring it down a little bit and show them teeth Here it needs to go teeth in. A little more open and close it here. Need to have more teeth. 
teeth, so teeth out. Here, uh, so it'd be lips out. After this, I really don't care about how his anything looks because you can't actually see him. So I just need to get the M going just to make sure, and then I'll be good. Uh, so let bite. Oh, then his mouth is too far forward. So we'll put him like. Let's put him there. Sped up a little bit. Can anyone hear me? Can anyone hear me? We're going to put them teeth out a bit more here. It's, I got things. Which it's, um, essentially done. It's just, uh, or it's a lot closer to done than it was before, uh, when we left. Uh, oh, actually, I almost did that wrong. I need this, this, and this. I have some, I deselected. That should work better. Oh, well, I right here. I need to make sure that this is blending across. Right. Oh, this doesn't even matter, really. Yeah, he's fine, so. Hey! Can anyone hear me? I got my ass stuck in here! Hey! Oh yeah, some of you can hear me? Up there. I got my ass stuck in here! So yeah, last time, uh, hey, or over hey. the weekend, I cleaned, or I blended the animation. Hey. I cleaned it up a little bit. Hey! Can anyone hear me? Uh, hey! Can any it's... I have to do the motion and then I have to do the counter motion because the head's going to act kind of like a, a little bit like a chicken's would where uh, they call it chicken's head like the uh, nature's natural camera stabilizer where you can or a chicken's head will always stay in position as you move it so it's the same thing if we're on a swing we're not going to keep our head stationary around it we usually will lock it to something that's around us and follow it a little bit so it's about uh hey! Ensuring that hear, hey? some of the motion is I got my ass um, transferring it in that way. So I my ass stuck in here. I, like, at the end here, I did have it so his head turns a little bit with it. But some of the stuff right here. Like, actually, he could probably have a good bit more of a swing here. I can't do neck or uh, spine because that's going to mess with everything else. Uh, it just looks like it's pivoting though. I'm going to see if I can grab from here. It would add extra motion. Okay, and that's fine, but I want to take, so when he gets to the top of his motion here, from here to here, I want to bring his head down a little bit to offset that motion. Yeah, that feels a little bit more natural. 
I got my ass stuck in here. I got my ass stuck in here. I really didn't have much control of this part. Actually, even his feet, I found I have less bones on than Rathian. So something didn't convert right. I can um, grab a little bit, but I don't have with Rathians where he had multiple claws. But it might be just because of the rig um, block in it or something. But that actually does remind me that um, I need to add a little bit of a... Yeah, I did have it clenched there. My thought being is when he's going to churn, um, that he will um, clench more than just like the top. It'll churn, everything will clench a little bit. Uh, that would be foot. Um, oh yeah, toe. Yeah, I think this is just the rigs that are... No, there was another bone than this. Um, so this one. Yeah, there it is. Maybe not that one. This one. Nothing. Yeah, that's the only bone I have that to actually move. Hello, Blush Link. Mm -hmm. oh. I got my... uh... I got my... so, uh, space this out a little bit. I got my ass. Mus. Let's. Your voice is just too soothing. Let's go ahead and actually bring up the feet. Um, so this didn't actually have any control of the rotation, but these get the chicken feet. These did. So we're gonna do that. Actually, actually, I'm gonna go the other way. In here, in here. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back to this. There. Stuck in here. There. there. Stuck in here. Hey, can anyone hear me? I got my ass stuck in here. Okay. Can anyone hear me? So other than the wings being a little messed up, everything which I don't care too much about, I think it's just his face that I need to really do anything for. And yes, I know you have questions, Plush Link, so whatever, whatever you got, just throw it at me. Are you real or just an internet? Real questions. Answer that he's made a star from where we're he's not real. No, Bernie got this coming again. Did anyone hear last week it was it was Galacon last weekend. Mm -hmm. They only really get like 2,000 people. Only 2,000? Oh, apparently Burning Cow was expected to get 13,000 this year. Yeah, but what was it last year? Like seven? Yeah. Cider Fest is under. Cider Fest is 1,500, I think, at the top. 
or no, it, it was at 1,800. So, I mean, it's still smaller than that. So, yeah. it's it technically, if compared to the United States, it's one of the biggest cons. It's not a festival. No. Galicon. Oh, Galicon? Yeah. It would be. So, it's not, you're, you're, you're comparing it to the biggest thing and saying it's small. That's a horrible way to look at life. Oh, I mean, it's small by comparison, yeah. That's all. Would, would, I, would I stream Friday? I mean, I could from my phone, but why would I? <laughs> I don't need data. They want you to do one of those big vlogs. Um, no, I'm, uh, I wanted, I always wanted to take more video at the cons, but I end up not. Um, I always forget to. But, uh, no, Friday we don't have anything going on. Like, um, uh, what, what, what do you watch? I don't know. Um, no, uh, Friday there's, no, there's nothing. So it's kind of like the Thursday and Friday are low key and then Saturday is like everything. So, I mean, there's the Applejack one on, on the other day, but I don't really care about that one. It's pretty much just a show up and be goofy. No, I got scripted stuff I have to do. Really? Uh-huh. Wow, that's surprising. Well, it's actually pretty funny. That's why I made the, the tweet in the way that I did. Mm -hmm. Because it's following with what he wants me to do. to that tweet. Jake gave it a like. Yeah. Jake, well, Jake gave it an angry Applejack. But then he liked the tweet anyway, so <laughs> I know it's just a joke. Jake's also a pretty big fan of Derpy, so he, he might be conflicted. Oh no, I like having the day free. The one problem I have with BronyCon is like, the one year I had a bunch of stuff to do, but I, it's been six hour, I spent six hours getting through the vendor hall alone, just talking to people. And it's great, it was a lot of fun, but there's other stuff that I would like to do and I didn't have the time, wasn't able to do because I was busy with that. So I like having the flexibility because stuff like that comes up. I don't, I don't need a busy schedule. I'm there to hang out with friends and stuff. I don't need to, I don't want to be spending it all sitting and listening to other people I don't care about. He swings his head up a little bit here. I think I'm going to offset that a little. Yeah. Uh, let's bring his head down. Like here. That should work. Uh, my mentality animating in general. Uh, I can't seem to grasp how to move in time, how to move without stiffness. Pretty much anything helps at this point. Yeah, and that's what I was expecting for a question. So the problem is, is a general question gives a general answer, um, and so it's hard to say like, how do you animate good time? That's legitimately a lot of it is is practice. Um, like, oh, and I look back at some of the stuff I made in my first year. And I mean, my first year I had over a thousand, well over a thousand hours and I think almost 2,000. Um, it took, uh, or I, I still felt that I had a lot to learn. Um, but I also didn't, I didn't jump to doing any specific projects that I felt I w were above me until I was ready. And it took me a year and a half to get there. Uh, or to where I would want to work on those. And then by the time I got there, they those projects felt small for the stuff that I now felt like I could do. Um, so the, the main thing is just, it's practice and time. Uh, I wish I had a better answer than that, but uh, a lot of the best tips and tricks you're gonna find are just the exact same things over and over again. What like the 12 principles and some of that, but it's about getting it ingrained in your head and learning the software so that you can don't have to think to hit buttons. Like I can put my head that hand down and like hit do a bunch of stuff and I don't remember if you asked me what button to hit, I wouldn't know because uh, just time. Um, but for at least recommendations on how to learn, um, uh, I would say. Um, Duplication of something is the best way to learn. To find something that already exists and try to replicate it the best you can. Um, because trying to jump into making something complicated right at the start, you're going to probably have, be spending so much time redoing it because you learn a little bit more and then you want to go back and redo everything that you were doing. And then you go forward a little more, but then you go back, learn some more stuff and you go and redo everything because it doesn't match anymore. Uh, it's a, uh, it's then you just find 
cycle of never-ending um, re redoing of work. Uh, I did that a lot when I started, but that's why a lot of my early stuff is super short. So, like, because every time I learned a little bit more. Um, and even now I do. I've went back and redone stuff because I learned something um, new. So, um, but but it's really hard because like um, how to move in time and how to move without stiffness. Uh, everybody has their own style, and so it's hard to say that oh, you just do this because I might be saying it because that's my style, but somebody else might utilize a different different way of doing it that's a stiffer look because that's their style. So uh, I'm actually going away from smooth and going more towards stiffness uh, because I was going too, um, uh, I, w I look like a sine wave with motion sometimes where it's too consistent and rounded where I'm trying to now make it so it's a little bit more um, quick juts to how it should be, which is the way I feel like it should be. But um, no, I, it's, it really, it's without it being as specific, like, uh, this, I need this motion to look like this. Um, it's really hard because it's just going to be the general answer. I really wish I could be better than that. I mean, if you don't have the time and uh, talent to become an accomplished animator, you can always just kidnap one, and then you can make really amazing animations. So, keep that in mind. Just drag them away. <laughs> No. Hey, He's gonna be a burning count this weekend, by the way. No. <laughs> oh. Oh, I don't kidnap him. I did end up on this No, like, even for a lot of this, like, like right now, I if you, have, if you ever see me just watching something and repeat, it's because I'm trying to find the, um, the uncanny valor moments. So I'm looking for the moments that are jumping out to me as, uh, this just didn't feel right. And getting that point of having that feeling um, takes time. So like, in just looking through here, I knew, like I saw the neck part, now that doesn't bother me so much. Um, but what bothers me right now is right there. Because his, his head with the motion feels like it's moving too stiff to the other objects. So I just know to fix this, or at least just start poking at it. So from the end of what I was looking at to the beginning, um, and then I am just going to delay the head going down a little bit. Get here. Get here. I suck in here. Mm, don't even like that. I might actually just add the extra motion of like going a little bit sideways. It's like what? Get here. No, that's too much. See, that, that's where I'm talking about, like, um, it's too floaty. Um, it's about getting the, like, here, I'm gonna... I want to have it so that he moves, but then there's this part where he doesn't. So yeah, that actually looks better. And then... I'm actually going to go bring this up a little bit. Yeah, maybe if I do it going down to just give the illusion of going up. No. Yeah, actually just just throwing that together looks a little better. I might just keep that. Alright, um, yeah, because originally when I um, started doing some of the animating stuff, I had an original idea for um, a Scootaloo short I wanted to make using, I believe it was one of the, the aviators. 
and Mando Brony, I think they did on like a collab thing. And I, I had a whole idea for something planned. And I really wanted to do it, but it would have been like four something minutes. And I knew when I started, though, uh, that it was way above anything that I was going to potentially do. Um, and I wanted to learn the, the, what I needed to do first uh, to, or some of the basics before I could feel comfortable starting something like that. And it was about a year later that I was at a point where I could potentially do it. And I had other ideas that, that I was like, that's cooler to do. And I don't care about that idea anymore. So, um, it's, uh, don't get ahead of yourself. Start, start with small stuff because, uh, you can then get it out there, uh, potentially get feedback and, um, feel like you put a stamp of approval on something and moved on. Hello, new person. Oh, it's Hello, Jurassic. Jurassic. What are you coming on here for? You're in like DC. Be bored already. What are you doing? You need to be in Baltimore streaming Fallout so I can watch some more. Already back. Yeah, I really wanted to do that, but things don't work out. Kind of hoping uh, Graham keeps wanting to make little figurines as I'm digging these projects. Also, I just used the word digging in a sentence. It doesn't feel right. Uh, what do I do? I that's what there for. Sheets send me a new one every day. Good practice. Just source for the maker. I mean, anything is source for the maker. Well, if I started making animations, they just end up being like kissing in socks all day. Nobody wants to see that. So. No. <laughs> Unless you wanted to make money. <laughs> Unless I wanted to make money. There's big money in porn. I'm talking about porn. Jeez. It doesn't Just matter. Sad. You're going to get the people that are like, hey, that's pretty cool. You know, it'd be great if they were like banging. And then you'd be Just like, some... no. And they'd be like, Just some light... 100 bucks. Just some light cuddles. That's all. Just some, some horse cuddles. Nothing wrong with some horse cuddles. I think I might have him looking the other way a little bit. Yeah, hey, that's the next one, Grandma One. And I'll just be, uh, I'll just have a figurine of cuddling horses. Seems more like a speed. Eight miles walk. You walk to DC? Be a heck of a walk. It's like an hour train ride. Yeah. Walking in DC. I've driven past DC, that's close to getting the guy to it. I don't know that I have a whole lot of um desire to really see DC. Oh, I really, I really want to I wouldn't see mind that. seeing the Smithsonian. Yeah, that's the museums are the main yeah. reason for going there. That would be the main reason. And maybe the Lincoln Memorial. Um, past that, the Botanical Garden would be kind of cool to see. Yeah, there's, yeah, that's the thing is that there's plenty to see there. It's not just about, like, I don't really care about the the monuments or the... I, mean, I would um, like to see the Lincoln Monument, but that's probably yeah. the only one. Yeah, but that's, so you just listed off a whole bunch of things that would take days to fully get through. <laughs> so yes, uh, and I really wanted to do it this year, but again, it's just things happen and not able to do it. Dangerous. Well, we'll be getting there super early Wednesday. I don't know what we're gonna plan on doing on Wednesday. Not, not really. Well, we're not getting there super early. We'll be there like noon or one. Really? 
Yeah, we fly out at nine and we lose an hour. So. Getting up pretty early, but it's a lot better than taking the bus. Because I wasn't so much getting up early as it was sleeping on a bus. Which was never coming. Can you see when eye shifts? I feel like that like something in the head needs to move. Even if it's just a little bit. That's wait. Oh, I would say it's too much, but it's probably not too much. It's just the other shifting. spot. Though I don't even think you'd be able to see it. Yeah, the Smithsonian is like the main thing I wanted to see. Um, I kind of wanted to, to climb um, Washington Monument, uh, but again, it's some of that depends on lines. Uh, but a lot of museums I thought would be really interesting to see, um, and kind of like the Lincoln Memorial. Uh, but like going to the White House or anything like that, that really didn't interest me. Um, but it was also because we were always in Baltimore, so it was just close. But again, it's we planned to do it last year and things fell through. And then this year, uh, I changed jobs and, um, and so I went from having three and a half weeks of vacation to two, at least for this year. Uh, because of the uh, mid-start, so I had less vacation time to play with, so. Because originally it was going to be like fly out on a Saturday the before, spend like three or four days there, then go to Burlington. County. But, um, yeah, harder now. I still have two days left vacation, but, well, two days unplanned left. I still have Cider Fest to use days for. I might not bother animating his other, the other part of his face. Um, um, Cause he has the uh, um, other part under his eye, but there's so much other motion going on that I don't think you're really gonna notice. Oh, it is? Oh, okay. Well, then that kind of sucks. Um, okay, so I still need to find, like, some kind of a, a rope. Um, and I ended up having to make uh, a, a third bone for this. So... Um, one is the main point of rotation, so this one is um, just the spin at the top, which is then connected to this one, which I couldn't actually do anything with for reasons. Um, so I had to make a third one, or because the, the main model, this one being the main one, then this one in the middle, like a third one. So this one's top one is locked to the main rotation and is allows me to rock, rock back and forth while still maintaining the spin um, without messing with the spin. Because if I needed to change something, I'd be affecting both types of rotation instead of just one. So I wanted to slow down the round spin. I would also be slowing down the swing. So I had to separate them. Uh, and then, but then 
so this is from up top, and then this one at the bottom is the follow through the bottom. So to do the swings, I did the local rotation, which allowed both bones to rotate together individually from a point. Uh, rotated the whole thing, and then I just delayed the one at the bottom so that the uh, it looks like it's kind of a uh, um, swinging separate from it. So yeah, I needed three separate axes of rotation: one for the spin, one for the top top swing and then one for the bottom swing to make it look uh, the way it does but I still need to uh, get the rope because the rope's going to be connected to, uh, to to the one that's moving um, that's why I like a model individual model would be hard to do it with uh, but that does remind me I do not want these shown Um, well, I'm not going to just sit here and dig around for stuff and waste time on that. So instead, we're going to build a background for this. So, um, I need to put him in some kind of a position that he'd be swinging something or from something on. Originally, my thought was a tree. So, um, having some kind of a, uh, like a, like a big oak or something just because you can imply then that he's swinging from the tree um, might be able to steal some thing it'd be hard to get everything over there though yeah I think no matter what I do I'm gonna have to uh, um, do it from scratch but we're gonna grab grassland. No, no, not that grassland. Desert test. All right. Well, yeah, like a backyard would work, but the problem is, it's gotta build a backyard. So originally, my thought was you just do some like. Um, some hills like this so we'll just go low um, so I already got the camera set so I'm just gonna take we'll just take everything I don't think anything's locked to the world no we're good um, and let's spin them around oh probably should undo that So I want to find a, kind of a low dip because I want the hill to come up a bit. It'll block out the horizon. But I need enough where the camera's going to fit. So I think something like that might work. That was too close to the hill. I think the one problem with this is the land implies small, but this is not. I'm going to have to have some pretty big stuff to offset the difference in sizing. So, but we'll see. One nice thing is, I do have a lot of tree models. I was going to call somebody before I started streaming. Oh, well. Um, so, Mega Pack has some of the best trees you can get. Just taking a while to get to. Camera. Okay, it's always at the bottom. Jeez, I have so many trees. They're all like crap. Maybe that's not even a tree. It's a lamp. Like this one looks decent, but it's super low poly edges. I've used that one or tried using that one before. 
really the best ones out there are still um, the Mega Pack. I think it's one of the last things that gets loaded. It'll suddenly just go, Poof. yep, there we go. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> um, all right. So something like, oh, this is probably going to be a different type of tree that I'm looking for. But technically, that would work. But I don't need to actually show like it hanging. Oh, something like that would work. Let's try that. It's a weird looking tree. Is this semi invisible? No, it's fine. I should have the camera like so like the camera starts going here no it wants to start from the other side so start like here and just kept going around You know what? I think I might keep it without, because if if I have it do any type of motion uh, outside of just potentially some camera shake, which is normally what I do, um, the tree there is going to move. So at the end of the video, when it repeats, it's going to suddenly have the tree jump. But if I don't, it might skip a teeny bit, but it's just because of the, uh, the random motion. So I think I might do that, but I want to get this camera random motion done right away. Actually, before I even do that, I should adjust this. I don't really want to have the camera's aperture up that much. Um, that's probably even too much uh, without adjusting it to where his head is because it will throw it out of focus when he stops moving. Which isn't very often, but there it is. But uh, I'll just keep it low right now. But definitely have to look into that. So, so that big tree works. Um, but I do want to put more trees in the background to hide everything else. So let's see, mm, what kind of trees? There was one I used to always be, or used to always be my go-to. Like stuff like this can work, but they're so unique looking that it's hard to keep the variety going. Oh, it's that tree. Plus, part of the reason that I'm wanting to put some trees back there is to hide uh, the fact that he is um, on such a simple backdrop.
there's the men line. Oh, actually, I had to be good. I want to get a baseline to go from. Lights are facing this way, so I'll go that way a little bit. And I'm gonna probably have to do two of these. Rathalos is, uh, oops, um, lighting works good, but since it's not running in that engine, it can cause some weird lighting edging if you don't balance things out with a secondary like this. To get some uh, very dark edges. Maybe something like that, and that doesn't look too bad. But it uh, looks like I'm going to need to balance some of this lighting out. Like this minor shadow should be, or there should be two of them. Probably even more minor, but. Because it's the, th I think they call it three point lighting essentially. If you do three, it's not the definition I'm going to talk about, but it's about having the light spread out. If you put three different lights around, you can make, usually make it look like it's omnidirectional. So that's normally what I go for. Normal three point lighting is like rim light, um, key light, and how the other one is. At least what the name of it is. Um, that looks okay. Um, it looks really weird with that black background, so let's get a sky card in there. Okay, I'm gonna do the wrong one first. Phil, there's no light paint bucket. Like, I had this sky card, and I, I swear I always put a new sky on it because all of them just look dreary as hell. Like, that just looks. That's fucking Candyland. The guy who does this song is John Kenza, and he is going to be a Brycon uh, playing music. Trying to get it figured out a little bit. Actually, the ground itself just looks pretty decent for this. Um, I definitely need to get the. Actually, you know what? I can cheat. I'm not using pony models, so I can use the lights how they're supposed to be used. 
If this doesn't do what I want it to do, then I can actually go the other route. Oh, that kind of did. But still not exactly. So the light only it like fades at a distance. But... Let me do this. And what this light should do, though it is super bright, for good reason, is it should create a balance where the the hills in this distance are the same regardless of distance in terms of brightness. So there's three different ways that light falls off. It's constant attenuation, linear, or quadratic. Normally it's just a quadratic, which right now this value is sitting in the middle. It's not going to do anything though because at this distance it's literally having no effect. Um, so it's just how do you want your light to fall out from its source? Quadratic being the basic means it's it's a quadratic fall off. So from the point that it your camera's light is emitted, as it goes for every like one distance, it reduces the light by two. And so it's a, it has a faster drop off, meaning that as light gets further and further from your source, it's gonna get dimmer and dimmer and dimmer. Um, a linear, and a, a, that should, yeah, not even have an effect either, um, is going to, have a fall off that's for every one distance, so it'll drop off of one. So it's gonna be very consistent drop off. Um, constant, and the reason I went to jumping right to bright is because it's a, it says that uh, there is no drop off. As, as bright as it is at its source, it is that bright at all the way at the max distance. Um, because of this though, so the quadratic, because it has such a fall off, if you have, you still have to get into millions of numbers to get stuff to like farther, farther away. Because, but if you put something right up to the camera, it'd be super bright. When you do constant, it's taking the brightness from the camera's base, which means as soon as you turn it on, it gets everything super bright. So that's why I had to drop that down to, to basically nothing because it would have to treat it as if I was lighting something immediately in front of the camera. The problem is pony models uh, will take light from any source, no matter where, when it comes to the eyes. So if it's a non-shadowed light and you put on constant, since you have to have, or because it lights everything evenly at a distance, it doesn't have that fall off distance. So the eyes will just glow like mad and it gets super annoying because you can't actually use those lights then. But this one I can. Kind of looks like he's in a cartoon. So yeah, lesson on lights. I always thought that the constant thing was like, what the hell does it do this? It's like, as soon as I turn it on, it gets super bright. Why does it do that? That's stupid. No, it's it's got a legitimate reason. We're good. So at a distance, uh, we want to make the distance look good. So normally on a horizon, you can have blue skies, but the blue skies are not going to go directly to the ground. Um, blue skies will normally um, have a fade range. Uh, so well, for one, actually, uh, we're going to a little bit of a hill right here that's lighting weird uh, we are just going to I think 
ignore it because I don't want to. If I start expanding the camera out more or the expanding out the light, it's going to decrease the quality of the shadows. Um, which we'll do this and we'll keep that attenuation at max. Attenuation is how much do I want the light to bleed or the how much do I want? Yeah, how much. Do I want the shadows to be ignoring the light behind it? So if you have it at the max, it's just going to make it so that it causes some light to bleed through. If you do it at the minimum, it's going to make it so that none does. It's not going to be doing too much right here, though, because I have other lights shining on those shattered areas. But if I were to turn off those, um, you would probably see it. No, nope, you're going to have to do like this. And even then, you can't really tell a difference. Lights super. Oh, I wonder if the the constant attenuation just causes some things with that. Um. Uh, so camera's moving. Oh yeah. So we want to do. Actually, we're just gonna grab this one, and we want to decrease its intensity, drastically increase its volumetric intensity. That didn't do the intensity. There we go. Um, we want to make it an uber light, which will cause it to disappear for its lighting because I need to increase its cutoff right there and decrease its height. So by, oh, and turn off shadows, turn on biometrics. So it's going to be way too much right now. But we want to narrow it down a bit. And probably, uh, cut off is up. We want to decrease that max distance, which will. Um, so just what's needed. So it's just like that. And decrease that min again. That should be fine. We'll flip this around. And put it way underground. We're gonna have to really pump that. Flight. Oh, it didn't actually increase it. There we go. So okay, we need to be a bit wider. Uh, I need to increase the width. So decrease. I made it an uber light so that I could decrease its height by doing so. Um, I can make it a thinner beam. Otherwise, if it's round, the center is going to be brighter, a lot brighter than the outside. So this is going to help a little bit. Um, yeah. But I want to have it fade a little bit. So I'm going to put the edge height up. But then I'm going to really narrow this down to almost nothing. Almost nothing. I'm going to do like there, that should be fine. Get a little bit of the hills involved there, but don't want to get too much. Well, probably actually don't want any of the hills involved. Let's do something like that. So we'll try that. Uh, I need it to be spread out a bit more. If I have the camera set up, what did I throw in there? Um, right, having a little bit of aperture um, does help with that distance a little bit. Um, but I don't want to put it up that much. Let's at least try to do a decent job of following him here. Uh, 
Let's see from there to there. His focal distance you'd be at there. And then in the middle there, he actually faded out from it. So. So up till there, let's keep it going backwards. Ah, uh, slower. No, okay, so he goes, let's say from here, he keeps going backwards. Here he has a jump. But then to be exact, this is to be close. And with this course he goes just a little bit further. And over the course of this time, he needs to be at about there. enough. The funny thing, isn't it? That a digital mm -hmm. camera even needs to focus on a specific uh, area. You'd think it'd be able to just focus on everything simultaneously. Well, yeah, I can. You just don't want it to? Well, yeah, I could just turn it off. But oh. that doesn't seem real, does it? Reality isn't like that, so if you do that, it doesn't seem real anymore. No, I can, I can, that's what the aperture is. I put aperture to zero and it, it treats it like it has infinite uh, focal distance. Oh, I know that. But that doesn't seem real. But it's the same thing, like you can, um, you can set a shutter speed. Does it have a shutter? No. But how else would it determine how much to blur things? Because I mean, it's a, with uh, being a game engine, it doesn't need motion blur. That just makes up artificial. So, yeah, and that's the other thing too. Is it helps? It helps me direct what I want people to look at. Like there's the, uh, and I always like this one because it came up in something. Let's see if I can find it. Um, um, I think it was from The Godfather. Uh, I might... I uh, might not be, actually. Because um, I believe it was Daniel Craig that was... Uh, 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 what was it? Uh, I don't know if that's even going to be able to find it. But he was... He had a camera shot where he was in the center of the camera shot and... The whole time and the focus wasn't on him he took up two-thirds of the camera shot but all the, it was focused behind him the whole time and it was to imply that in he, he you being him were listening in on the conversation and thinking about the people that just left the room um, and it was actually a really really well done camera shot and it was using focus to direct attention Okay, so now I got that pretty close, so I can't put the aperture up that high, but I can put it about there and be fine. Um, all right, we're gonna take this just tree and we're gonna put a whole bunch from this. This is gonna be um, uh, sky car.
This is where the, uh, there's the one thing that comes in where, um, I have to give scene artists, um, credit. So I'm just throwing trees out here, um, in what I believe to be a random assortment, but in doing so, I'm making it obvious that a person thought that that was what was considered random. Um, like, I'm just trying to balance it out to be, like, even-ish, but random doesn't work that way. Um, there's, like, a... Uh, an old mathematics teacher that would say um, that he could, no matter what, if you were to give him or students were to break into two teams, one would roll or to flip 100 coins and the other were to uh, and then record the results and another team was to write down what they think 100 flips of a coin would look like. And he says he said with 100 percent chance that he would be able to figure out which was which and he was um because people or uh humans have a horrible horrible uh idea as to what actual random is so you, it's about like oh you space it out but then you got to put like two things right next to each other or change the sizing or rotate them um it's a uh, an interesting thing It's a fancy tree. Fancy. Let's throw one of them in there for fun. What is this small tree? I need to make you big. Oh yes. The mother tree. No, oh, 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 that's okay, that's a bit big. You down like that, it's big. Then you won't eat everything. Goddamn hungry tree. It's the kite eating tree from Charlie Brown. It does. It kind of looks like a like a Winnie the Pooh tree. <laughs> the honey up there. Um, but I'm putting it here, and I don't even think. Yep, yeah, I can't even see it. So we're gonna move it. But can I see the top though? A little bit, but not enough to care. Um, so we'll just put it. Let's put it like right here. Um, and it's a little close to that tree, even thinking true random. So let's move this one like right there. Um, my concern then is. Having that tree cause him to be harder to see. Um, and it does a little bit. If I moved it like there, it would probably help. Yeah, let's try this. We'll keep them there. Um, and then I will have another, a couple more of these. So we'll just throw this one. Let's say over here. Um, actually, what we could do is just fill the background, the far background with these trees because they're random enough that uh, I could at least make it look like a spaced or a well distributed forest. Okay, but then at least this big gap behind him right here. So we're gonna just fill that with just a random tree. Right there, we're gonna put it right front of the fog so it doesn't cause it cause the fog uh, we'll do that uh, 
and then we are going to give him a little bit more light to help pop him out a bit more. Probably to the tree too, because the tree looks a little lacking. light doing that not really actually his head only feels out of place there because of this tree just because of how dark that tree is. For the size, the size is fine. It's just uh, getting it to match. There's the turtle lake ones, so this would be fitting the theme. But I don't want to increase the size of one that already is there too much. And I'm gonna use that one. No, I use that one. This one. I don't think I've used. No, he's in the tree. like there's a branch going over him. I think that should work. Uh, his shadow's a little bit... Um, strong. Is that the shadow that's... Yeah, it's right there. But it shouldn't be that strong. Yeah, there's another one causing a shadow. Is it this, this one? I thought I turned off the shadows on this one. That one has to be this one. No, it's not. What is causing this one then? It's the trees? It's the trees. Which means Rathalos is getting hit by that. Ah, barely though. We'll just, uh... We'll do that, whatever. It's not visible from the sides that matter. Actually, you know, I'm kind of okay with that shadow being there, but what we're going to do is we're going to enable the shadow. 
so you can see it there. I'm just going to increase his filter size. So, um, so he passes over it with a shadow, but only a little bit. Um, I'm sorry, sorry, Jurassic, I was just backing up. So, no, the light roll goes to Camden Yards. That's fine. That's, um, I don't think it was last year. I think it was the year before they had it actually shut down before then, and you had to take a bus. But Camden Yards is only like two blocks. Uh, all right. I was thinking about adding like um other like grass type things, but that would be that's a slippery slope. So I'm just probably gonna add a couple rocks and then call it good. As soon as you start adding grass, you start having to add a buttload of grass, and then you have like no idea what you're doing anymore. careful with this because like this rock does not feel natural if I put it like on its side or something that feels better it's like why would a rock just be poking up like that I'm just gonna have one other rock and then call it good on that. Then I just have to find my rope. In the distance, you can see the hill, but that's fine. Um, I think the only thing I want to add still is that volumetric. We're going to take another one because this shows this like white haze here, but then you got nothing right in this little corner. I'm just going to move it a second one um, to cause a slight haze so that that little spot doesn't look weird. Like that. Okay, now to figure out this rope. Um, I know what I want it to do, but I don't know, and I swear I've seen it. Um, I need to see that rope texture again. Or the rope particle. Because I swear, if you're gonna call it rope, Better be some damn rope. Yeah, that's this one too. This is what you get, not the bottom one. Okay. So it's not that's not rope, it's cable. That's nice. Okay. 
Um, if I need to, I will make do with some kind of rope. See, that just doesn't match. Well, I guess I could add a little bit of red to it, but because I swear that some what I'm looking for exists, I just don't know where. Let me pull that one up and see. Hmm. That could work. I'm just worried about it not looking right. Because I'd have to manually do it. Ah. Let's try to get this particle thing to work. We'll all learn something in doing it. Uh, Tire, tire rope. Uh, let's go and open up this material because I want to see what it looks like and if I can utilize it. Um. That is very cheap, which is perfect. Because all I really needed was cheap rope. So it does the, it only works from one side. Well, it just matches up pretty well. Um, no, because that means I can literally just like take this and copy it. on a crop no I won't hmm. can I can I rotate canvas I don't think I can um so I don't think it's gonna work like that. But what we'll do instead is we will du not duplicate. Layer from background. Canvas size. There we go. Don't know if this is gonna work, but we'll see. This is how you learn stuff though. It's like um, there's a lot of stuff that gets really bothering me having that flame slider there. Um, was I wasn't sure how to do something, so I just poked at it until it worked. Um, or and if I couldn't figure out how to make it work, I just made something that worked kind of worked. Um, it's, it's 
you never waste time with anything. Um, you just learn a little bit more each time. So, um, all right. So, and I could even like do this and then be like, I, this looks like crap and not actually want to use it. So let's go and open up that particle that I started. Oh, I don't think I ever saved it. So I think the problem with this before was I couldn't figure out how to add a second control point. Because I know that I need render rope. Um, and it doesn't need motion. Because I think I had problems with the other rope, didn't I? Well, actually, no. Let me try that. Let me try taking the one that exists and just playing with that one. So this was from workshop, particles, rope. That's really all I needed as a start. So let's go and grab the texture, but it's going to crash. And actually this texture is in the workshop, which does not have access to here. Um, I don't think I need a VMT for these, do I? I think I might. I don't think, oh, Fong's already off, that's fine. Uh, wing rope, it's not in that folder anymore. It's in uh, particles. Wing rope, long. Um, so Fong, no, 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 no. Sure, uh, do that. But it's probably going to crash because I will be loading in uh, textures unless I can get to it fast enough. I am almost guaranteeing I won't. But I don't see it. So um, the one he was using before was a very simple one. Uh, let's just accept it and see what it is. So it's right here. Okay, so it's just black, which I guess isn't too surprising. Um, because it might be too long. Actually, I don't even know if that would work, because if I think about how it would repeat, um, I'd have to get it on a real good repeat point. I'm not sure how it, uh, grabs the textures for this. Say it like that, sure. 
the reason for shrinking it down is if it happens to be the rope texture is in uh, a way that I think it is, this could help clear that up. wasted effort you learn from it. So what I want to see here is if by shrinking it down I might get pumped into some of that black area that they might be utilizing and see parts of the texture and if I do that at least I know what I'm working with. Just black. So let's try. Oh, that's weird. No, I can do that. Um, I'm just gonna do um. There was like a, like a ra radius type thing. Oh. Some interesting rope. Well, here's an idea. So instead of using a particle like that, I'm just going to grab a normal one that I know the boundaries of and see what happens with that. Um, and actually this didn't even show up. So if I load private property, I'm only seeing the middle of it because of reasons. So I'm not even seeing this texture pop up. Um, let me try... that. It might be that I just need to set it as a specific type. The It's just a part of, well, the UV map would be to a model. Uh, this one I just created as a texture from nothing. And uh, so there's no map to it. And it's going onto a particle, which is again not really mapped. It's just depending on how it utilizes the texture. Um, so that's why I'm um, poking around and loading different stuff on there to see if I can see what those different things do. Um, there. So by making it a sprite, I made it visible. Um, ha! Ha ha So it is stretched. So that means that uh, it is, I think, trying to utilize the texture over its entire length. So we are going to bring it back to its longer version. So I think I think that's what it was, is I was trying to put a flat texture onto something and it that was but it was trying to see it as something for um uh for three-dimensional objects. And so I just had to change it to seeing it as a sprite.
Okay, and that changed almost nothing. Um, does the length of the rope matter? Oh, that's the wrong one. This one. Um, kind of. Meaning to me, it's only taking a portion of it, but no, I think it would it'll work as it does. So um, let's go and just get it all together here. So uh, we want um, this transform. I don't care where that one is. So tires. Uh, this one's location. I need to have locked to this one, and this one to this one. Oh, I had that wrong one. I needed this one's. This one to this one. This one to this one. Okay. So it's pretty obvious what's that it's a particle. So we're gonna gonna play around with it to make it work a little bit better. So. Um, it is right now too fat, so we're going to shrink that down a bit. We're going to done a six and six. Uh, oh, just a little thinner. Let's go to the, the five and five range. Um, it's overly yellow. Um, we need it to be just a little bit more red. Seems a little weird. Is there something on here? Because I could probably, like, if I change this to zero, zero, does this actually make have an effect on it? No, it doesn't. So, um, oops. I'm not messing with stuff. So uh, let's just make it a little bit redder here, I guess. Investments, uh, hue saturation. No, we'll just do uh, photo filter. Probably don't do pure red. Probably go a little bit in the orange. Um, yeah, I don't want to go too far. Okay, let's see what that does. There used to be uh, extensions that you could... Um, I feel like I didn't do that right. I thought. Uh, something just felt wrong. Now there used to be an extension so that you could uh, save right from Photoshop, but I don't think it exists anymore. I did fat shame the rope, yes. Normally a rope would actually, you would actually see it start spinning on itself. And actually I might be able to do that. That's a little better. So it didn't seem to matter how long I made the particle. Um, it was the same. Yeah. Um, so for one, we need to take this and move it down a little bit to get it hidden into the other rope. 
Um, and I'm also going to, um, yeah, I'm going to put it a little bit to the side here to put it better centered. All right. So it does need to be still a little darker. Uh, I th I'm thinking I can do that through here though. Right, it just doesn't give a shit. Uh, if that's the case, then I just I don't know how to darken it much more than that. Can I just do that in here? Let's see if that works. Because if that works, then. Correct. Ah, it does work. Oh, maybe it doesn't. It's seeing a difference, or at least it feels like a difference. Is it just doing the ratio? No, I'm just okay. Never mind. I think I'm just blind or something, um, or I did that wrong. But I don't think so. All right, so let's go. I just don't, like how do you? I, I don't want to make that too much darker. I feel like it's gonna destroy it. Um, so we'll just uh, like decrease the brightness and increase the contrast a little bit. And I think that's all I'm gonna do. When you have a problem, don't do don't change too many things at once or you're not gonna know what you did to solve it. Change one thing, then test. Yeah, I could, but it's still, I, I like the lighting as it is, so, um, yeah, that darkened it a bit more. It was more of, I just didn't want it to stand out as much as it did before. Um, and I also feel that the texture might be... I'm going to try something, so... We are going to reverse this. Um, Gonna save it as a different one so if things go wrong. It could be that it's stretching because it's trying to take this very small, narrow uh, band. Because to me, that might make sense for how big that is of a stretch. Aha! Well, wait. There's... No, that's... That, uh... That did make a lot of bands. There's super tiny little bands now. So, no.
Um, I already did try the squashed one, and that didn't seem to work. It seemed to stretch it just the same. But I will save it as... Squished. It did have an effect. And I might just leave it as it is then. So I'm still kind of curious how this will turn out in a render, but uh, that's fine. I uh, have to let it sit to do that anyway. So um, but I think really that's all I'm going to do. Like he's a little bright in some spots, um, but I think he's done. I still don't think he's not standing out enough here, but he's also moving. So I think that should help. Trees. That one looks better. Mm -hmm. And actually, I wonder if that decreasing its lighting might help there. Put it up like that. Yeah, it sends off a little bit more. It's close, that's why. All right. But I will render that and put it out later. And stuff. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, happy Tuesday. I will not be streaming Friday because I got to do um, BronyCon. Got to do it. Got to get that done. Gotta get it done so I can get back to nothing. Uh, I'm gonna keep it called butt stuck. I don't know what else to call it. Oh, that's not oh, so much. Let's get back to nothing. Stuck. There we go. Uh, we're 10 20. And we're gonna do it at. Let's let's do so super high because I gotta go do stuff. So I'll just put it at 256. Super cool. Yeah, I'm not gonna render now though. I'm gonna quit it and then just let it go because I got stuff to do. So, okay. Um, anyways, yep, thanks for coming and all that junk. So, see you guys next week. I probably won't be streaming until next Friday, not this coming Friday, but the Friday after. Uh, just heads up. So, anyways, yeah. Yeah, BrodyCon. Hello, Cassies. Uh, anyways, yeah, have a cat and then I'm gonna go. Yeah, see you, to see you tomorrow, I guess. That's weird. I'm gonna hide. Alright. Bye. Bye.